It was billed as Spot's Rampage. Take a paintball gun, attach it to Spot the Robo Dog, and let folks at home trigger it using their phones. The way that a military person might pilot a drone. The head of an art collective called Mischief wanted to show how a Robo Dog could be sinister, not just lovable. The way Boston Dynamics portrays its $74,500 creation, so lovable, it tugs at our heartstrings when someone tugs on Spot's tail. To demonstrate his durability, so the art collective bought one and let viewers control him as he bumped into replicas of art objects like a drunken sailor at a Brooklyn art gallery. Viewers took turns shooting paintballs at the walls. Spot trampled an already broken statue in his most wanton display of destruction. His creators at Boston Dynamics were not happy. This art fundamentally misrepresents Spot and how it is being used to benefit our daily lives. The art collective says Boston Dynamics suggested they ditch the paintball gun and in exchange made an offer. There are ways that we could sweeten that deal and it could be like giving you two more of these robots. Free! But in the end, the so-called war dog was his own casualty. Spot wound up sprawled on his side. He kept collapsing. Be right back, the live stream kept saying. But after about an hour, Spot no longer came back and they began running instant replays of his glory moment. Instead of this... You'll just be able to wreak havoc. Spot wreaked havoc on himself. Viewers kept trying to trigger paintballs. But Spot had painted himself into a corner on his side, twitching. Instead of Spot's rampage, it was Spot's whimper. See Spot drop. Genimo, CNN, New York.